Hey guys, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to thrift the Y2K style specifically. And I'm going to have a haul at the end of this video of some of the items that I picked up during this thrift trip. With that all being said, let's get into the tips, okay? Because I have, I have some things, some pointers, a few little pointers that I can give you guys about thrifting in general okay so the y2k style that's more popular now is not really a exact reflection of the y2k style that was popular back in the 2000s they were a lot more dramatic with their clothing but now it's a bit toned down so the first place i suggest you to look which is where i am looking right now in this clip is the little girl section those little t-shirts and sweater vests and like corny printed graphic t-shirts hello kitty all that type of stuff you're gonna find in the little girl section you're not gonna really find that in the women's section because that's not where it's gonna be so the first place i would check when i go thrifting is the little girl session section <laughs> because it's usually smaller than all the other sections so you can kind of get it out of the way right now i'm just looking through looking at all the little baby t-shirts and the little cardigans and stuff just open your mind when you go thrifting i know it's weird to shop in a section that's not meant for you but you can find some gems usually this is where i find sweater vests and just little crop t-shirts they're meant for children which is why they're cropped but it still works out you know fashion has no limitations so just open your mind and you can really find some cool pieces in the little girl section also when thrifting for anything it is very important that you take your time and actually dig and look through everything when i thrift i spend a lot of time in the store literally looking at every single thing on the rack i don't look at everything in every row because some things don't really interest to me and I know that I'm not going to really find what I'm looking for in certain areas of the store but as for the little girl section and the little boy section I look through almost every single piece eventually I get tired and I start skipping by pieces but I can kind of tell what items I'm gonna like by looking at the material or the patterns so sometimes I really don't have to look at everything but I just find pleasure in looking through everything and finding one good thing i don't know it sounds crazy but that's literally the fun in thrifting is just finding stuff another tip that i have when thrifting is to make a list i know that sounds kind of crazy because there's so much stuff at thrift stores but making a list one can help you manifest the items that you want into your life i literally manifest clothing pieces into my life and it works I make the list. I believe that I'm gonna see some of the things off the list in the thrift store. And I do. I go and sometimes I'll literally find something that was so specific on my list that it's crazy to believe that I do not have magical powers. <laughs> So thrifting can become very overwhelming because there's so many items in the store and they're all different. So making a list can kind of decrease the stress and the anxiety that comes with thrifting. It will help you just keep your mind in a certain mind frame instead of getting overwhelmed by the amount of things that you're looking at. You can just keep referring to your list to know what to watch out for, what sections those pieces might might be in it just kind of gives thrifting a more organized experience when you go with a list of things that you want to find and that's a way you can think about the list if you don't believe in manifestation but if you do believe in manifestation then the list is also a way to manifest the things you want to your life so make a list <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so for this trip, I was looking for crop fitted cardigans, sweater vests, all that stuff. Then boom, look what popped up, a sweater vest. I'm telling you, make the list. And it's just so much satisfaction gained when you find something that you put on your list. Like, I don't know, I just be feeling so good. Even if I only find one, I actually found two sweater vests in this trip. But yeah, and I found a bunch of cute cardigans that you guys can see later too. So make a list, come on. What What's the hold up? Why are you hesitating? Just make a list. Okay, so after I feel like I'm done, I go through and I look at all the clothing pieces that I put in my cart. I know when I'm shopping that I'm not going to keep a lot of them, but I just keep it there so I can go through it at the end and decide what I want. And I only ended up keeping the sweater vest. I did find some other stuff, but they just didn't feel worth it to me. And all of them are Y2K style, so you guys can kind of just look at them and get your satisfaction of the aesthetic i guess <laughs> But here's how the first sweater vest fit me. This is like meant for a four year old, but obviously it fits me like a crop top. This one was really small. It was meant for like a one year old and that's why the arms are so tiny, but it's so cute, but impractical. Okay, so this section of the video is when I went to the Goodwill bins. Oh my gosh. This is a whole nother ballpark when it comes to thrifting. The bins is something different than the racks, okay? You're gonna see. Literally, you walk in and it's just a bunch of bins full of clothes. And some of the clothes were wet and it just kind of grossed me out. So I definitely recommend going here with gloves because I don't know why they were wet, but it was just so uncomfortable. But yeah, literally the whole entire store is just bins, 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 bins of clothes, 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 clothes. And you dig, 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 dig through the clothes. <laughs> and it's really hard to find stuff and you really have to have patience when it comes to the bins. But yeah, when I come here, I usually spend a lot of time here looking through the clothes just so I can find pieces. And also it's cheaper here at the outlets because they weigh it. It's like $1.75 per pound. 